welcome to Travel and Style from Geneva in Switzerland. First, we would like to wish a warm welcome to all our new subscribers who have recently joined the Travel and Style family. And if you're new to this channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button and that way you'll get notified of all our destinations. In this channel, we film cities, luxury hotels, boutique hotels, and wellness and spa, and whatever we find interesting to see or visit in the different cities. So right here we are in a little promenade that has been created in the 16th century. And in this promenade, you have the longest bench, which I will show you right away. So what you have in front of you here is the longest bench in the world. It goes from here all the way there until over there. And this promenade is very, very nice. People come here to relax and uh, also to have a bite because there's a restaurant over there. And uh, also there are tables where you can bring your picnic if you want to and uh, enjoy a nice peaceful time. But today we're going to take you to the Bastion Park, which we see over here. The Bastion Park, which we're going to visit in a couple of minutes, is one of the biggest historical parks in the center of Geneva. So stay tuned and keep discovering. So to uh, get to the Parc des Bastions or uh, Bastion Park, you can uh, go down this way. There's a very, very nice promenade. So on a nice summer day, it's uh, very, very uh, enjoyable and nice to walk uh, in this area. We are now in Parc des Bastions in Geneva and as I said it's uh, the biggest historical uh, park in the center of Geneva and the most majestic and the most frequented park. It's uh, really really beautiful. You have uh, lovely promenades and also uh, very uh, beautiful monuments. In fact you find the most beautiful monuments such as the NR Palace, which I will show you right away. So this is the NR Palace that used to be um, home to a Swiss banker around 1817. Apparently there's a, an event there, but uh, take a look at this uh, park, it's absolutely gorgeous. So that's the NR Palace. Of course, there are 
other monuments that I'm going to uh, be showing you while uh, enjoying this beautiful walk. So over the past weeks, I have uh, shared a couple of uh, videos of what you can do in Geneva. Uh, so in Geneva, you can uh, take a boat tour, as I showed you uh, two weeks ago, a boat tour from Geneva to Bellevue, among other boat tours. And uh, you can also uh, enjoy uh, the drone show. In fact, last week I have posted uh, the largest drone show in Europe, which took place in uh, Geneva for the first time. So in this beautiful park, you also have the University of Geneva, which I will uh, show you in a little bit. Unfortunately, it's undergoing some renovation, but uh, it's also nice. As you can see, there are a lot of people who come to this park on the weekends. It's a great place to hang out in. And what you will have in front of you is the International Monument of Reformation, also known as the Reformation Wall. I will show it to you. Reformation Wall, which is uh, very, very famous uh, in the world, and it's actually a uh, hundred meters long. And here you have uh, sculptures of uh, numerous Protestant figures from across Europe. So the sculptures were created from uh, very, very famous uh, sculptors, such as uh, sculptors Paul Landowski and Henry Bouchard. And uh, it's very useful to know that actually Paul Landowski uh, was one of the sculptors who was carving the statue of Christ the Redeemer in uh, Rio de Janeiro in Brazil. So not many people know this, but one of the two sculptors that have uh, contributed to sculpting the Reformation Wall in Geneva also uh, contributed to sculpting the Christ the Redeemer statue in uh, Rio de Janeiro in Brazil. So here you have 
for uh, figures such as Calvin, Pharaoh, Bez, and Knox. That's it. The wall is 100 meters long, so that's uh, quite a long walk to uh, carve in, but it's uh, nonetheless very, very nice. And this is in uh, Parc des Bastions in Geneva. So that's it. I will uh, now show you uh, the University of Geneva, so some buildings of it. Um, even though it's uh, under uh, renovation works right now, but uh, nonetheless, it's very, very uh, nice to see. As many people have studied at University of Geneva, which is uh, here. So have you ever been to Geneva? And if you have, have you ever been to Parc des Bastions? If you haven't been, uh, I suggest uh, you come discover it. It's truly a beautiful uh, park and uh, there are so many statues and lots of greenery. Right in front of us here is the building of University of Geneva. It's under renovations, unfortunately, but here you have uh, also another building and opposite uh, there's also uh, another building that has the famous uh, library of the university it used to be called uh, university library and today it's uh, also the library but uh, of geneva so this is the building of the library it's really nice And here's another building. And what you see here, the main building is under renovation, unfortunately, but it's truly beautiful. So the, in the Parc de Bastion, not only you can have a lovely walk and uh, really uh, relax and have a peaceful time, but you can also uh, have uh, lunch or a brunch here at a very, very nice restaurant. In fact, this park has hosted once at the Christmas market. In winter, the first Christmas market was here at uh, Parc des Bastions. And now it's uh, by the lake, but uh, previously it was here. So they used all this uh, majestic uh, space, very, very big, as you can see. Take a look at this promenade, how nice it is. And right over there, you have uh, a restaurant that has an amazing brunch. So we will uh, film it for you one day if you're ever here in Geneva in summer. It's a lovely place to have brunch as well. Or lunch. In any case, it's a very, very nice place. And you should also know that uh, some people come and play chess here. I will show you. So if you're a chess lover and you're in Geneva and you fancy having a little game, then, you know, this is the place for you. That's the restaurant. It's a really lovely terrace. It's a very, very nice terrace to uh, hang out in. Here are the chess boards. Very nice. There are several ones now. 
So if you like chess and want to play in open air, then that's the place. So here's, there's a free one. Take a look. There are a lot of people playing. So that's it. I think we have uh, shared most of the Parc des Bastions. And we will now go out. If you like this video, make sure to share it with your friends. Give it a big thumbs up like and subscribe by hitting the travel and style icon on the left of the screen or the little red button on the bottom right of the screen and that way you'll get notified of our next destination so stay tuned travel and style is signing off bye bye